Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Study reveals most frequently traded in vehicles for a Tesla Model 3. Elon Musk shows off Tesla's finished Giga Texas entrance, reception desk. Tesla drops Powerwall 2 price ahead of next-gen launch. And, Tesla Model 3 performance facelift may get new motor, Vin suggests. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model 3 drivers traded in Honda Civics and Toyota Tacomas most frequently to get their electric vehicle, a new study shows. A lot of people have made the transition from a combustion engine vehicle to an EV over the past several years as electric powertrains have flexed their advantages. While EV companies have frequently shown that lack of maintenance and gas savings are the two biggest cost advantages to switching, we have not seen much data over the past several years that includes which cars are most frequently traded in for certain electric models. However, a new study from CarMax shows that information, particularly pertaining to the Model 3. The report states that the Honda Civic and Toyota Tacoma pickup were the two most frequently traded in vehicles that owners gave up for a Model 3. Additionally, Tesla shoppers who upgraded to either the more premium sedan, the Model S, or the Model 3's sibling vehicle, the Model Y, which is a crossover, were most frequently Model 3 owners. Nissan Leaf buyers were most commonly coming from a Toyota Prius, the study found. Additionally, all four Tesla models landed in CarMax's top 10 most popular electric vehicles. The Model 3 and Model Y topped the list, while the Model X and Model S finished in 7th and 8th place respectively. The Nissan Leaf was 3rd, the Mustang Mach-E from Ford took 4th, and the Chevrolet Bolt was 5th. Toyota drivers were the most frequent visitors to car max centers in terms of trading their cars in for an electric car. BMW, Ford, Honda, and Chevrolet followed. Tesla drivers made up 5% of the brands that were traded in for another electric car. The study does not explicitly state how many of these drivers ended up buying another Tesla. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk shows off Tesla's finished Giga Texas entrance and reception desk. Tesla completed the main entrance to its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, as can be seen in a photo posted by CEO Elon Musk. In addition to the photo of the entrance, Musk also showed off the new reception desk, featuring an angular design, not unlike the forthcoming Cybertruck. Musk shared a photo of the Giga Texas entrance on X, showing off the highly reflective design of the newly completed entryway. The walkway leading into the factory includes large rectangular white archways that can be seen reflected on the ground, along with huge walls of windows on the face of the building. The entrance was completed just in time for a meeting between Musk and Hungary President Katalin Novak on Monday in which the two discussed the world's birth rates, Ukraine, and the Cybertruck. The visit even included a test drive of the Cybertruck, which Musk also did with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu last week. Just inside the door is the building's reception desk, which Musk also featured in a post on X later in the day. The desk includes a trapezoidal shape and hard angular corners like the Cybertruck, along with an opening in the middle. The area is surrounded by rectangular beams, similar to those seen in the entryway, as well as a few surrounding tables and chairs. The photos come just a day after production seemed to have resumed at Giga Texas, with newly built Cybertrucks seen around the facility on Monday. A new filing from the automaker that surfaced on Tuesday also shows that Tesla is planning to build a 22,000-square-foot cyber cafeteria at the Austin, Texas plant. Moving to the next update, Tesla drops Powerwall 2 price ahead of next-gen launch. Tesla has lowered the price of its current generation of Powerwall energy storage systems ahead of the company's plans to launch its next-generation version of the home battery. The price reduction also comes alongside other available incentives for the Powerwall, like a rebate for units installed by a certain time. The Powerwall 2 is now available for $8,400 on Tesla's website, and buyers can still receive a $500 rebate on installations before October 31. 
The news comes ahead of Tesla's launch of the Powerwall 3, which appeared on the company's website earlier this month and is set to launch in 2024. In addition to the $300 price drop on the current generation, many Powerwall installations are eligible for additional incentives, including a 30% federal tax credit through the Residential Clean Energy Credit Program. The price of a Powerwall with the credit and other local credits can be seen on Tesla's order page under the Potential Incentives tab or by clicking the pricing estimates at the bottom of the page to reveal a full breakdown. Tesla also notes that the price does not include installation costs, which can often add a few thousand dollars. Buyers will also have to work with Tesla certified installers unless they're adding the Powerwall to solar they already have installed. You can buy a Powerwall from Tesla, with or without the addition of solar, after the company previously disallowed customers from doing so in 2021. While the Powerwall 3 won't be available to order until 2024, according to Tesla's website, some spotted early installations of the new hardware this month, which Elon Musk later confirmed. The Powerwall 2 has a total energy capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours, which is the same as the forthcoming Powerwall 3. Tesla also offers the Powerwall Plus, which has the same total energy capacity as the Powerwall 2, though it has a built-in solar inverter. The Powerwall 2 requires the use of an external inverter, though the Powerwall 3 will also have one built in. All Powerwall purchases include a 10-year warranty, whether you buy a Powerwall 2 or Powerwall Plus now, or wait until next year to purchase a Powerwall 3. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model 3 performance facelift may get new motor, Vin suggests. When Tesla unveiled the facelifted Model 3 at the end of August, for Europe, China, and other markets around the world, not North America, though there was one notable trim level missing from the lineup, the range topping Model 3 performance. Tesla did not mention it at all in the press release, and the online configurator launched in those markets, with only the single-motor rear-wheel drive and long-range dual-motor, all-wheel drive trim levels. On top of that, in some markets like Australia, customers who had ordered the Model 3 performance reported that Tesla cancelled their orders shortly after the sales launch of the facelifted Model 3 in the country. Understandably, this contributed to the emergence of rumors that Tesla might not offer the Model 3 performance anymore. Well, it looks like the Model 3 performance will probably return, as suggested by a European-type certificate from the RDW, the Netherlands Vehicle Authority. If genuine, the document issued in July and posted on the TFF forum proves not only that the facelifted Model 3 performance is on the way, but also that it's coming with some interesting powertrain updates. More specifically, the vehicle's VIN has the letter T in the 8th position, which typically corresponds to the type of motor in a vehicle. Since the outgoing Model 3 performance has the letter L in the same position, this suggests that the facelifted variant will feature a different type of motor. Tesla has reportedly used the T designation on the VINs of the European Model S Plaid and Model X Plaid, which feature a tri-motor powertrain. Does this mean that the Model 3 performance is also getting three motors? That's unlikely, because a tri-motor Model 3 performance would probably outperform the Model S Plaid, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk has categorically dismissed that possibility in an interview earlier this year. There's a higher likelihood that the T in the VIN indicates that the Model 3 performance may adopt one of the Plaid rear motors. This would give Model 3 performance owners not only bragging rights, but also increased performance. For now, this is just an assumption, and it will be interesting to see how Tesla improves the Model 3 performance. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.